One does not simply walk into Mordor. The land of shadow. Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Um, today's video, uh, I wanna uh, share with you a double feature reaction uh, video to uh, Sauron's army and uh, the and Sauron was here. Uh, a uh, Two of them are like sort of mini uh, trailers or clips. I'm not sure exactly. One seems more like a clip, the other is more like a little mini trailer. Uh, but anyway, they're both kind of interesting. I thought uh, since we're kind of on the final countdown here to the uh, Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power uh, TV series, which premieres on Friday, uh, that I would try to have a video today, uh, one tomorrow, and then one on uh, on Friday. Uh, today's video, of course, is, as I said, a uh, double feature reaction uh, to those two mini trailers. Uh, uh, tomorrow's video, I'm going to focus on Adar and another video I had seen called The Southlands, which describes a portion of the TV series. So The Southlands, I'm, I think anyone who's seen, the, seen that uh, video uh, knows that The Southlands is sort of code for Mordor. Uh, it takes place in Nurn in the southern part of uh, Mordor. Uh, so anyway, I think those two things will work together because that storyline, the reveal of Mordor uh, and the attack on the castle and Adar sort of all work together. So I'm going to do that kind of mash those two uh, elements together and discuss those in tomorrow's video. Then on Friday, I plan to uh, showcase the lore video that I've been discussing in my last couple videos about why Sauron chose Mordor as his uh, fortress in which to assault the west of Middle-earth. Uh, excited about that one. I've been working on that for about a week or, week or so. So uh, that's gonna be a great lore video and a great way to kick off Friday uh, before the uh, show premieres. Uh, so anyway, I just want to say this. If any of you guys watching uh, like the content that I'm putting out, please go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that uh, bell icon because that will tell you when the next video is premiering. And this week I got a couple of videos coming out. So if you want to know, if you want to see the video the second it comes out, uh, hit that bell icon uh, after you subscribe. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and dive in and see what these... Uh, two uh, mini trailers look like. I, I've seen some clips of one of them, which was Sauron's army. I could, just couldn't resist looking at a little, there were mainly screen caps and one little uh, bit that I saw, uh, but the entirety I haven't seen. I know they're both very short. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We'll start with Sauron's army and see uh, what we think of that. The enemy does not sleep. He waits. War, war. A dark and cunning sorcerer. He has not one name, but many. We knew him as Sauron. Huh. Wow. Ooh, I love that. That was fun. I liked to seeing uh, some more uh, images of the orcs. Uh, one thing I will say about that, though, at the very end, they were they showed a uh, clip of that we've seen before of Adar uh, walking into that group of uh, orcs under the canopy, and they say at that point, uh, "We knew him as Sauron." Are they trying to say that Adar is Sauron in disguise? I, I, I still don't think that, but it's interesting that they would portray it that way. They might be trying to fool people too and not really tell people the true nature of the story uh, because they want people to watch and, and, and you know be surprised. Uh, so anyway, let's hit the next one, which is called Sauron Was Here. Okay. 
Okay, this is it for the mount. of the unseen world oh, now that, that and some cool. dark sorcery of old but what was their purpose surely it is lost to the ages now whatever happened what here was long ago he must get killed off in the first episode water oh okay that's that rock that stone with the that sauron symbol Even stone cannot hide the mark of one whose very hand is flame unquenched. There it is. Ooh. He was here. He was here. Sauron was here. Tell the others to rest while they can. That orc uh, kind of melded into the rock. That was really cool. He looked like an orc from uh, one of the uh, the orcs uh, from the Lord of the Rings uh, uh, in Moria. Looked like a Moria orc. Had that similar kind of look. Um, wow. Okay. A couple of things. I think I mentioned the uh, how it was odd to s that they they were saying sort of in a way that. Uh, we knew him as Sauron as they showed Adar. I think that's just, like I said, throwing people off. I don't think that's going to be Adar is going to be Sauron. It just didn't, would not make sense. Um, now in this, I really like the second one because it was really more of a clip than a trailer. The other one was, you know, quick cuts and it's hard to determine a story when you see it in a trailer Whereas this was more of a clip and it was a sequence of uh, uh, pieces of an, an entire uh, scene. Uh, it showed a new elf I hadn't seen before. Um, and it showed the, uh, the symbol that we've now come to uh, associate with Sauron in this series. Uh, it's on that a sword. It's, you know, it's on the stone. Uh, we see now where, where that thing, where the ice is around it, that's when uh, she pours water over it and it appears and she says, uh, Sauron was here, he was here, Sauron was here. Um, uh, and so you get, a, I'm starting to get a feeling for how the story will unfold. Uh, they also show, uh, at least in this, that particular sequence, uh, I did notice she, she has that map uh, that I, I've seen some pictures of her holding what looks like a map of some a, a paper or uh, some kind of map that she has maybe on a skin, um, on an animal skin, but it showed her pointing to what looked like that fortress we saw in one of the other trailers, and I think the second teaser trailer, um, where we first see the images of her at the mountain uh, with the other elves. It looks like they separate and there's just two of them in this one place. And then of course, it looks like she does battle with the uh, snow troll and we know how that comes out. So anyway, it's exciting to see like a whole scene. Uh, so that, I was kind of surprised by that. I thought it was gonna be more of a trailer than a clip, but um, we'll go, it's got me excited about the show. Um, I have to admit there are things that worry me. Uh, uh, you know, I would love them to stick to canon. Uh, and not diverge too far. I know that they're having to compress the time frame because it's obvious, you know, if we're seeing uh, Galadriel uh, discovering um, in Numenor, for instance, she shipwrecks in Numenor, uh, which I think is how she gets there. Um, anyway, that storyline seems to come after almost uh, 1600 years after the events of the forging of the Rings of Power. Uh, so it looks like they're compressing all of that down into one time frame. Anyway, um, 
I like what I saw. I want to keep this quick. Um, tell me what you guys think. I'm sure you're going to have some very strong opinions in the, uh, uh, if, you know, if you leave, uh, some comments, uh, I'm okay with that. You know, as long as it's not, um, just totally derogatory without merit, um, anybody that has issues with canon or story or the way the characters are unfolding, I love to hear all that. Uh, so put down your comments, let me know what you think, and uh, I will see you tomorrow in the next video.